happy Sunday. Happy Sunday morning. Oh, that tree stole the thunder. We're getting there. We are getting there. I got up at 5.55. Rushed to the bathroom to get dressed. And I came out here in the same vivid orangey yellow had changed. It's amazing how quickly the sunrise changes. I've got Jack with me. I think the only reason why he's with me is because I didn't feed him before I left. So, okay, I'm going to make a list of my problems this morning. Um, I, not that you want to hear them, but um, last night I realized that my eyelid eczema my itchy red patches that show up on my eyelids, they are creeping back. So I'm not happy about that. My right eyelid was like burning on fire before I went to bed last night. So I took some Benadryl, which has now caused me to be so sleepy. But I got up at sunrise because, you know, that's what I do. So here I am, kind of dragging. The other thing... I don't know where it came from, but I have a cold sore. Yep. I woke up and I thought, gosh, my lip feels a little tight in the upper right hand corner. Oh, I hate them. And I thought, I just thought a couple days ago, you know what? I'm doing really good. I felt good. My eyelid eczema has been cleared up. My cold sores haven't been around because I'm probably not stressed. It's like they heard me. It's like the things heard me and they were like, oh, let's give you something to deal with. So, you know, there's that. All right. Here we go. There's the sunrise. It's not really sunrise because sunrise isn't until 629 and it is I don't know, 610 here. Something. But, you know, you got to catch the pretty part. So we're just going to meander here. Somebody is coming down my road. How dare somebody be awake this early? <laughs> anyway, maybe they're coming to see the sunrise too. I don't know. Oh. Jack, what you gonna do, kitty? Yep, so um, I was thinking about something the other day and I've been thinking, oh, you know what? It's the same person that's out every morning. I think it's a thing that they do. I don't know. Maybe they think the same thing. Who is out walking this morning? Oh, it's that girl with her phone. Maybe it's a thing that she does. So. Okay. So, I'm back. So, I'm back because the car that just approached me, I was telling them what a beautiful sunrise because I realized it's the same car I've seen every morning for like the past, I don't know. So... <laughs> Uh, I, they stopped because they saw me gesturing to how beautiful the sunrise was, which I realized they ain't riding the roads for the sunrise. They are turkey hunters, which I think is interesting because where are you going to shoot turkeys just driving from the road? You ain't going to shoot them on my property. You better not be. You better not be. Uh-uh, I'm going to call DNR on your butt. The other thing they were doing was smoking weed in their car. Mm -hmm. Not that it's illegal. I'm not saying you, you do you, but I'm just saying. Anyway, oh, because it smelled like a skunk. Yeah, yeah, they didn't roll their window down because they knew that I would know. The other thing I didn't like was that they had a car seat in the back of the car. You know what? I'm not getting on my soapbox. I'm over it. Back to my own problems. My eczema and my cold sore. And it's awful. And it's, it's frustrating. And I don't even know why I have cold sore, because it didn't even tell me it was coming by having the itch first. So now I've got to deal with that. But why would you be driving down my road looking for turkeys? Huh. Hope they know this is my property and they better not hunt on it. Oh, okay. All right, I'm getting over that. I'm getting over that. I'm going to be over it. I thought I was, and I wasn't, apparently. <laughs> oh, I said I was thinking about something before all of this got interrupted. And a few... Days ago, I said I wanted to talk about uh, eating or action and triggers, emotional triggers, uh, things that uh, 
So my, my whole thought process on it is emotion triggers action. And if you can identify the emotion, feel the emotion that gives you the power to adjust the behavior. Now this whole previous week, WW's weekly was about, sorry, I got distracted because it looked like there were tire tracks in my field. Anyway, this whole WW Weekly was about stress eating. Stress is a trigger. What does it trigger for you? For me, it triggers that gut pit feeling in my stomach that I find I confuse with hunger, that anxiety pain in your gut. You guys know what I'm talking about? Good morning. Now you see my face. It's because I wanted you to see the sunrise instead of me, and it's hard to talk like this. So, um, that anxiety pit in your stomach, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It is confusable as hunger, like that same grumbling, achy feeling. I'm realizing most of the time I feel more anxiety hunger or emotional hunger, which is triggered by emotion, than I do physical hunger. So a few months ago, some of you may have been around then, when I had a little car, you know, a little window wisdom about the difference between emotional hunger and physical hunger. And one of the key points of that discussion was the type of food that satisfies the hunger to help you to differentiate the two because I struggle with that. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I being hungry and oh, I want to eat something are two different feelings. Do you know the difference? I'm working on that. So I mentioned earlier this week to a group of women that I have been um, just playing with uh, some fasting hours. Fasting where you don't eat uh, over a certain number of calories within a period of time. And why am I doing that? Well, one, if you shorten the amount of uh, time if you shorten the window in which you eat, you maybe you don't have as much opportunity to eat as many calories. So I'm not recommending this for anybody, but there's a second um, purpose in this fasting. Is I'm trying to train my body to be able to differentiate true hunger emotional hunger and habitual hunger really physical hunger emotional hunger and habitual hunger because one thing we learned in ww this week is sometimes we eat out of habit it's not even a sometimes it's our um, reaction to stress sometimes it's that but a lot of times we eat out of habit. I'd been getting up every morning and the same thing I wanted to eat every morning was an app, a banana immediately. Like my feet hit the floor and all I could think of was eating my banana, which all in all is not a bad thing. It's not a destructive behavior, but it was a habitual behavior. And so now I've been working on this whole, just fasting for a little bit, like creating a block or a chunk of time in which I don't consume any calories and allowing my body to feel the right things to tell it that it's hungry. Interesting, interesting, isn't it? Because you know what? If you have a pantry full of food and a refrigerator, do we really truly know what hunger feels like? We don't. We don't. I mean, on as far as like people who are 
starving and hungry. I'm not recommending that. I'm not recommending any sort of behavior that would support an eating disorder. What I'm doing right now is I'm realizing that I'm confusing emotional hunger and habitual hunger. I don't know if that's a real thing, so I think I kind of made it up. But I am retraining my brain. And I am telling my body by saying no. Yes, it's your habit to get up in the morning and eat right away. No, I am in control of when you eat. I am in control of what I feel and what action it triggers. So that's just what I've just been working on that because I was realizing much of my much of my food choices. Much of them were triggered out of habit. Not even the choices, but just the the action of eating habit and emotion. So I'm identifying, working on identifying those things. Like this morning I woke up, I didn't feel hungry. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for my walk. When I come back, I will um I will eat something. Well then I saw the cold sore pop up here on my lip, Maud. If you guys have been long around. Oh, I'll have to look back. That was the last one I had. It was when I referred to her as Maud. So, um, oh, it's nice out here today. It's like 50 degrees this morning. It's nice not to have the like crisp chill in the air. So, I'm really sorry I didn't get up early enough to share what I saw from the bathroom window with you. And I'm not going to record Toilet Talk with Tamara. There's not a new episode. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be gross. <laughs> oh, that would, be, <laughs> that would be so gross. I just realized that uh, T, oh, sorry if your microphone's been rubbing on that the whole time. I hope not. I just realized that uh, T is the first letter in toilet. So we're not going to do that. I don't like words that rhyme that much. Okay, so the other thing when I was talking about the emotional hunger versus the physical hunger, and I said this in a workshop earlier today, if your hunger is specific and it wants to be fed with a very specific food or food group, and it will not be satisfied with boiled chicken or broccoli, It is not true hunger. It's not. That was one of the things. And if it is immediate and not gradual, like a, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I am scared you, didn't I? Sorry about that. If that's not the feeling you're getting, or if that is the feeling you're getting, I have to eat something. It is the trigger that emotion caused. It is, that is, that is the trigger. That is the finger on the gun of emotion that is not managed. So before you eat, ask yourself, am I satisfying a a specific, a specific craving with what I'm eating? Hard to do that in the moment, right? That's why you need a five minute timeout, like a child with a temper tantrum. Because that's what they do. They don't think about what they do first. That is their trigger response to something they don't like. Well, how emotionally mature are we? Right? How emotionally mature are we? Are we able to acknowledge our emotions, sit in them for a second, and have a level of maturity emotionally to not throw a trigger tantrum? By the foods that we feed ourselves. It's a lot of stuff. So the, all of this got me. Oh my goodness, I've been chatting quite a bit here. So um, anyway, I'm just going to leave that there. This will be a talk. Maybe we'll continue in like episode two of Trail Talk with Tamara. So <sighs> emotional hunger, habitual hunger, and physical hunger. Let's start differentiating one from the other. Okay? 
Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Trail Talk with Samara, where I walk on my trail and I talk to you. With that, remember your may say today for do what you say may. Find a way to follow through on what you say. And remember, you've got goals. Go get them. Bye, guys.